What's up guys, we're back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Buck 346 Vantage. Um, I got this knife at Cabela's, they run about 50, I'd say they run about 50 bucks. So I don't remember what kind of wood this is, but this is a flipper liner lock. You can open it with the thumb hole too, liner lock. And also has a flipper, so flip that to get it open. It's also just like the 340, the smaller version. Jeez, I can't get this knife. There we go. Just like the 340, definitely a size difference. I'd rather have this knife, though. And it is my knife now, because I got it. Um, real quick, the knife that I'm really going to be comparing it to is going to be this knife, the 340, and the 840 Sprint Select. Um, they both run about 50 to 60. I think this one was 60. I like this one a little bit better. Um, same steel. I think it's they're both 420. Yeah, they're both 420 HC. Um, this one flips better. Just on ball bearings and then this one's just a flipper i forget what i don't know if it's real wood or not um the packaging that you get from cabela's off the shelf is that plastic and i don't have that anymore but size comparison here they're pretty even It's close. I think that the 346, I think that's, is this 340? Yeah. I think that the 346 is just a tiny bit bigger, which is what it looks to be. They're both deep carry pocket clips. This is deep carry. Looks to be. No, it's not the same. These pocket clips are not the same that they use. The 340 and the 346, they're not the same. So let's get some different size comparisons here. And we'll talk about the knife itself. So. I'll leave that one on the very left. That's the 346, the 840, the 340, Benchmade Bug Out, Case Marilla, Spider Co. Paramilitary 2, which we'll put on the side, Kershaw RJ. Buck 284, Buck 285, and Buck 110. So we'll do an in-depth. So 285, just a little tad smaller than the 346. 284, probably an inch and some extra shorter. Kershaw RJ Tactical, probably about an inch, maybe. Spyderco PM2, probably an inch bigger. The PM's probably an inch bigger. 840's about the same. I think that the 840 is just a little bit smaller. 340, probably an inch and a half smaller. Bug out, just a tad smaller. Case Marilla, just a little tad bigger. Buck 110, half an inch or so bigger. And what the heck, the deck is in my pocket. 
buck's just a tad bigger. Uh, what else do we have on me? Speed Goat. Speed Goat's just a tad bigger. And then the only other thing I have on me is my P4. Just a tad smaller. Uh, let's do plier size. Probably two inches, an inch and a half. And then, what else do we have? Now we'll put a DeWalt hammer drill, about the same size. Just some quick comparisons. It comes decently sharp, but I don't really get this question. It's a question I think I'd get, but I don't. Um, on what knife I should buy. The first two knives that will come to my opinion are these two, the 840 and the 346. Um, for around 60 to 50. I do like the 840 better, just because it's smoother. Because if you do that with this, it'll go like that. If you flick it down a little bit, it'll go farther. Now you guys press in. Oh, you're not giving it much pressure. It's about the same. Give it a little more pressure. Almost. That opens. Now this is also a ball bearing knife. Uh, my only real complaint on this 346, now it's not doing it. When I got the knife, if you opened it really slow, the liner lock wouldn't hit. Um, after you get a little bit of wear in it, though, it'll be fine. But overall, it's a nice knife. It has like a bluish inlay, I guess you could call it. Um, this is like a rubberized. I don't think that's wood. It does not seem to be, I think it's a fake wood. Um, doesn't really feel like I don't know, it might be. Considering that. Nothing's really shaving off at all. No, I don't know. But it is a great knife and this is not one of my better reviews, but I just figured that I would review this knife. Um, I like to get the size differences out there, but if I wasn't carrying one of these three, oh, this knife would definitely be something to consider. Um, I've always wanted one of these, even with my um, case and Hogan. Sweaty Co's. I always wanted one, and I do carry this still. I just got it, and I do carry it. It pockets well. Um, it's something that I'll slash through the wood and not really care about. Um, decent to sharpen. And just like that, it got really sharp. Um, sometimes they need a little bit of touch up from factory. 
um, if they don't get perfectly how you want. Like my 840. Now my 840 is probably all good. Yep. And here's the reason why you guys should not do what I just did there. You can see it's all scratched. That's why you put it in the actual sharpener, which I don't care. I'll put some oil on it. That's why you sharpen like this. I'm probably gonna get a lot of mad comments from that, but that knife is sharp now. That's digging, that's digging. So that is gonna be the full review of the Buck 386. Would I buy this knife? Um, me personally, I'd rather have the case or something like that. Um, but I do say Buck is, they are amazing knives. Um, Secret video coming soon, maybe probably tomorrow. I don't have the knife yet. I just ordered a buck deploy though. So I think that's supposed to get here tomorrow. I'll have to check on it. I think it is. So we'll have a review coming to that. That'll probably be my new carry knife, 154 CM. Still not gonna beat my 20 CV Hogue or my S35 Marilla. Or my S45, is that is S45 VM, PM2. But I'll still carry it just for the fun. Um, I got this one comment, I don't know if you still watch the channel or not. Um, that they aren't practical, those um, autos. But it depends what kind of steel you get. If you get D2, not real practical. Um, you can use it as an SD standpoint, but, um, 154CM is practical steel. Not the best steel, but it is practical. Um, for cutting open boxes and stuff, it's cool, and it's also a fun fidgeter, just like my bug out. You know, fidgety. But I'll let you guys know how I like that deploy. Um, if I get it tomorrow, the video is, if not tomorrow, if the video won't be tomorrow, it'll be the next day or this weekend at some point. But if you guys did enjoy the video of the buck, uh, 346, as you can see, it's all, they like did a double on it, which is weird. The 346, then don't forget to like and subscribe. I don't know what questions you guys are going to have about the knife, um, so it's kind of hard to do a review. I'm new to this reviewing thing, and I'm also really thankful that we did hit a thousand, or not a thousand, a hundred subs. So if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.